Hey everybody, I'm back with another tutorial on Kindle self-publishing. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create perfect looking tables that show up great and look perfect in your Kindle books. Now, it's not enough to just create a table in Microsoft Word because if you do that and you upload your book, it'll look good on some Kindle devices, but not all because there's a lot of different formatting requirements. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make sure that it looks perfect and it looks the same on every Kindle device and every Kindle app. So it won't matter if somebody's reading your book on a Kindle Fire, an old style Kindle, their PC using the Kindle app or anything else, it's going to look right. So let's show you how to do that. First of all, uh, in case you don't know how to create a table, it's really simple. In Microsoft Word with our template open, you just, you know, put your mouse where you want your table to be. And then just click, if you're using a Mac, you come up here and click table and then insert and table. And you can choose your number of columns and rows. And if you want to auto fit things or not, and then you just click OK and you have your table. If you're using Word on a PC, then you just click on insert and table and then choose your options. It's very simple. And then you end up having a table with all these different, in this case, we did five rows, or actually five columns and three rows, but you can have it as many as you want. And you can also resize those. And then each section of the table, you could have text, images, anything you want. You can change the color of the text if you want to, and you can format the table. Like if I right click on the table, we can go to borders and shading. We can give the table, you know, any kind of color we want. We could have borders and do all kinds of different things to make it look exactly how we want it to look. It's really quick and easy to do. And then we can resize it so it looks exactly how we would like it to look. Okay. So once you have the table created and you have it formatted and you have it looking how you want it to look, now we need to talk about how to make sure it's going to look good on the Kindle. Because if you upload it like, like it is right now, it'll look good on some devices, but not necessarily all. So the trick to making sure that this will look good everywhere on every Kindle device and app is to convert this table into an image. That way it's going to look good and it's going to look the same everywhere, which is definitely what you want. So to do that, if you're using a Mac, then you can use, under Utilities, there's a screenshot program that's free that you can use. And if you're using a PC, there's also a free screenshot tool. It's called the Snipping Tool. And you can activate the Snipping Tool and take a picture, uh, essentially, of this table. Now, I like to use a program called Snagit. I really love it. I use it for all kinds of stuff. So. I'm going to show you how to do this using Snagit, but you can do essentially the same thing using either one of those free tools. So I'm going to activate Snagit, and all I need to do is just draw, you know, highlight the table that I want to take an image of. So I'm just going to do that. I'm dragging my mouse to highlight this table, and then I'm going to let go. And here we go. We have an image of this table. So what I need to do is save it as an image file. So I'm just going to click File and Save As. And I'm saving it as a JPEG file, JPG or JPEG. And that's all there is to it. So now I've saved this as a JPEG file to my desktop. So I'm going to close this out. We're back to our template, OK? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the table that we just created and hit the delete button to get rid of it. Because I don't want that actual table in there with that code. I want the image that we just did. Okay, so now that I did that, all we need to do is to insert the image that we just took. So I'm just gonna go up to my menu and click insert. And then we go down to photo and picture from file. And then we navigate to the picture that we just saved, that JPEG file. And there it is. So now this 
is now a JPEG file. It's an image file. And every Kindle, Kindle device and app reads image files exactly the same. So this is going to look great no matter what. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this test uh, book, this test file, onto Amazon so I can show you how this looks on the preview tool. So what I'm doing is I'm on the kdp.amazon.com self-publishing portal website and I am uploading as we speak this test file so you can see what it looks like on the Kindle preview tool. You'll see that the image will look great on the preview tool. We'll just give this a second to upload. Okay, it says our upload and conversion was successful. So I'm going to load the online previewer and click on preview book. Oops. And we're going to preview it on the Kindle Fire. So let me just scroll to the right page that has the image. By the way, you'll notice if you already use our template, you know all this, but you'll notice we have fully clickable table of contents. Everything's formatted good, looks perfect, which is how it should be. And look at that. So here's our um, sample page that we did. And look at that image. It looks exactly like the table that we created. It's centered. It looks great. That's exactly how it should look. And that is on the Kindle Fire. But watch, we can change it. We can change it to the Kindle. So this is the standard Kindle, and look at that. Now the standard Kindle doesn't have color, so that's why it's not blue, but it's a, the perfect looking table. Looks great on the Kindle, Kindle Fire. Let's do the Kindle Fire HD. I should have put this like on the first page so we don't have to scroll. But here we go, looks great. And let's just do like iPad also. And there we go. Perfect looking table. So that's all there is to it. That is the trick to make it happen. You want to create your tables and then turn those into image files. That way it looks perfect everywhere. And you're guaranteed to have a perfectly looking table in your books. And if I look at the file size of this image, it's actually very small. And we could actually even make it smaller. I have another video on the blog on how to optimize your images. Because anytime you have images in your Kindle books, you want to optimize those images so they look best, but they're also the smallest possible file size. So we have videos on that as well. So that is how you can get perfect looking tables in your Kindle eBooks.